I know God is going to bless us in a mighty way, in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of us believe that God is still speaking? God is still speaking. He still speaks. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord because I know that God has a voice. Hallelujah. God has a voice. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, He says, when He was created, He says, And God said, And God said, Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you go to Genesis 1, it is, And God said. That means God has a voice. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God has a voice. And if one thing about God, He wants us to what? Hear His voice. He's not just speaking alone. He wants us to what? Hear Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. He, as much as He wants us to talk with Him, to speak to Him, Hallelujah, He wants us to hear Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Shall we put up uh, uh, Psalm 29? Psalm 29. Let's just see. A few things about the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it's high time we begin to hear Him in a greater dimension. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when we begin to hear Him, we see that things in our lives become smoother and smoother. Praise the name of the Lord. Because He will guide us in the right path. He will guide us in the right way. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalm 29. It says the Psalm of David. And see what David had to say about what the voice of the Lord. He says, give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Verse 2. Quick. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Verse 3. You have to be quick. Be quick, please. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders the lord is over many waters the voice of the lord is what powerful yes, lord. says the voice of the lord is what powerful this is what david experienced himself he says the voice of the lord is full of what majesty hallelujah yeah. praise the name of the lord he says the voice of the lord it breaks the cedars yes the lord splinters the cedars of lebanon hallelujah yeah. praise the name of the lord Remember I said the Lord, voice of the Lord is powerful. There's nothing that can hinder the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. He makes them also skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. Go on. The voice of the Lord, he says, he divides the flames of what? Of fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Divides the flame of fire. The voice of the Lord, it shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. In his temple, everyone says what? Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you not surprised that even the voice of the Lord is present even, in when, even when the animals are giving birth? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The voice of the Lord is present. Giving strength to what? Even the mother. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Giving strength what, to, the, to, to, to the calf. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says the Lord sat enthroned at the flood. And the Lord sits as king forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I just wanted to give you a small snippet of what? Of God's voice. Hallelujah. Amen. One thing that I've picked out there is that God's voice is very powerful. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And as I say, He's still speaking to us and He wants us to what? To listen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wants us to listen. He wants us to hear Him. Hallelujah. He's not just speaking for speaking's sake, but He wants us to hear His voice. Yes. To hear His voice. Hallelujah. Amen. I checked all the old, old, most of the old times in the Old Testament, you hear them say that the voice of the Lord was what? Like thunder. That was how they heard the voice of God. Like thunder. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But in, from, uh, um, in the time of the disciples, they heard God live and direct. Live and direct from Jesus himself. 
Who is the word? Was speaking. Hallelujah. So the disciples had the privilege of hearing God's voice live and direct. Praise the name of the Lord. And that voice has not left. Even where as Jesus died and resurrected, that voice has not left us. Praise the name of the Lord. Because through his Holy Spirit that dwelleth in us, that God has given us the privilege to carry his own spirit, through his own spirit, he still speaks to us. He still speaks to us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Through the word, he still speaks to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for the word of God. He still speaks to us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John chapter 10 verse 27. He says, Jesus said, my sheep listen to my voice. That's why I say, God has a voice. He says, my sheep listen. I know them and they follow me. Jesus has a voice. God has a voice. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And he says that voice, he, we have to follow that voice. We have to hear that voice. It's a duty of us to, be, to hear his voice. Because he's speaking. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But one thing that, 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 that the enemy wants and has caused is to, to, to give us that uh, uh, belief that God can't speak to us anymore. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But God is speaking. Yes. And if we have ears, we will hear him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because people of old heard him. So why can't I hear him? The disciples heard him. Why can't I hear him? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We must hear the voice of God. Because he continues to speak. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know that after today you will hear him clearly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The voice of the Lord will come to you clearly and in a perfect way in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 16 and verse 7. Psalm 16 and verse 7. We're just going to see a few of uh, examples of people hearing the voice of God. So when I'm speaking, you won't say that he's just saying it. Psalm uh, uh, 16 and verse 7. Psalm 16 and verse 7. It says, I will what? Praise the Lord who counsels me. That is what the psalmist says. He says, I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Hallelujah. Even at night, my heart instructs me. You, how can the, if he's not speaking, how does he counsel? Praise the name of the Lord. He counsels by his voice. And the psalmist says, he counsels. He says, I will bless the Lord. What? Because he counsels me. He counsels me. That is one thing we can get from what the voice of the Lord is counsel. Hallelujah. It's wise talk. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. From the voice of the Lord. David, the psalmist says, I will bless him because what he counsels me. And he knows why is he blessing God? Because he knows that every counsel that comes of God spares him from every struggle, spares him from every pain. I will bless the Lord because he counsels me. That's an example that God speaks. God is speaking. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 3, 1 to, if we say 1 to 14, praise the name of the Lord. Samuel had the voice of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. But he never knew that it was the voice of the Lord. He was hearing his name being called. He was hearing his name and he didn't know who was calling him. And a lot of us, that is that, that's the position that we are today. We are hearing uh, the voice of God, but we don't know that he's the one calling. We don't know. He wants to give us instruction. He wants to direct us. He wants to counsel us. But we must give him an ear. Thank God for what Eli in the life of what Samuel. Hallelujah. He went to Eli three times. The first time, Eli said, I didn't call you. Second time, Eli said, ah, what's wrong? I think. Third time, he said, ah, no. Then he's, when he came that door, Eli now recognized that, wow, this is God calling this my son. And he says, anytime he calls again, say, yes, Lord, I am here. Mm. And as soon as, as Samuel said, yes, to the Lord, God what, spoke to him and gave him direction. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the lowly state of Elijah, Elijah had the Lord. Elijah had the Lord. Let's go to 1 Kings chapter 19 and verse 13. Just to give that exact place. 1 Kings chapter 19 and verse 13. Elijah had the Lord in the lowly state that he was. He was on the run. He was running away from what? Yeah, the, the, uh, from Jezebel. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Running away for his life. And listen, he says what? So it was when Elijah had it that he wrapped his face. Let's go from verse uh, 12, actually. Let's go from verse 12. Let's go from verse 12. Quickly, quickly, from verse 12. He said, and after the quake, actually, okay, and after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, a small, still voice. Praise the name of the Lord. This was an encounter that what uh, Elijah had. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, at the time, he says, a, 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 a great wind came. He says, but the voice of the Lord was not there. Then an earthquake, came, an earthquake came. He says, but the voice of the Lord was not there. Then fire came, and the voice of the Lord was not there. But after the fire, he says, that the voice of the Lord came in a what? In a still, small voice. So the Bible tells us that the voice of the Lord what? comes in a still way very silent very it's, it's it's not sharp praise the name of the lord hallelujah. still small voice yes, hallelujah Amen. praise the name of the lord hallelujah. so when you are expecting where you be where you are or maybe expecting voice the voice of the lord it may not be there praise the name of the lord hallelujah. it comes in a small still voice and that's why you must surround yourself sometimes with silence so that you can hear the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So you can hear the voice of God. Surround yourself with silence. Put yourself in a silent place. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Others too heard the voice of God. Paul heard the voice of God. That's what changed his life forever. When Jesus called him. He was on the way to do havoc to the children of God. But Jesus called him out. And he heard the voice of God. And from that day, his life changed forever. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so it is. That when you begin to hear the voice of God, your life will be, it will be, it will be it, there will be a turn around in your life forever. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord. Amen. Amen. Isaiah, when he saw the Lord, he says, in, and he says, on the death of, the, of that king, he says, I saw the Lord. But after he saw the Lord, he also had the Lord. Amen. He had the Lord. And the Lord gave him instructions. That is why it's very, very, it's, it's a crucial thing that what we begin to hear his voice. Because God has so many things to tell us. But if, he, if we are not listening, we can't hear. We can't hear. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm just going to look through a few things that how God would speak to you. Because you'll be asking now, how does he speak to me? How will I hear his voice? But the first way that God speaks to us is through his word himself. The word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 to 17. He says, all scripture is what? Breathed and is useful. Is breathed, uh, all scripture is God breathed and is useful for the teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may turn be what equipped for every good work. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is God breathed. That means every word that is in the scriptures is of God and is speaking to us through that word. Every word of the scripture is what is God speaking to us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So he speaks to us through his word. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Secondly, is that what he speaks to us? What, as I said, through what? The Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit that dwells in us. That's why I say we need that quiet time. Because the Holy Spirit will speak. Clearly, we'll hear the voice of the Holy Spirit speaking clearly in our quiet time. 
It's time, it's, 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 it's good to give time to the Holy Spirit and say, Lord, speak to me. I want to hear your voice today. I want to hear your voice concerning this situation. And the Holy Spirit will speak. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send to you, that is Jesus telling us what and the, 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 the reason for the Holy, uh, uh, Holy Spirit coming, he says, the Holy Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you what of everything. Everything. Praise the name of the Lord. Everything. He says he will teach you and he will remind you of everything that he has said to us. Praise the name of the Lord. So we must give the Holy Spirit time to speak. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Because if we don't create room for the Holy Spirit to speak, we ought to hear Him. We won't hear Him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If as I am speaking now, somebody is playing this drum, somebody is playing the, the keyboard, it will be difficult for you to, what, to understand what I'm saying. Even though I'm speaking, but you will find it hard to what, understand. That is why I say there is need for what? To create that quiet. For us to what? Hear from God. A lot of people are so busy from morning when they get up to, to night when they sleep. Busy with so many things. But there's need for what? To give time to God. And moreover, not just time, but quiet time to hear from Him. Quiet time to hear from Him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To us, he speaks to us through what? Even the, the, the things that he has created. Praise the name of the Lord. Through his creation, he speaks to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Who tells you to what? Take out the umbrella when you see the clouds. He's speaking to you. Take your umbrella when you see the clouds. Hallelujah. Amen. His creation, what? Speaks to us. When we see certain plants at a certain time, you know that maybe when uh, spring has come, you know when summer has come, praise the name of the Lord. Why? Because His creation is speaking to us. Nice. Hallelujah. Nice. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He speaks to us through His creation. Through His creation. Psalm 19 verse 1 and 2. He says, The heaven declare your, the glory of God. The skies proclaim the works of His hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Day after day, they pour forth speech. They speak to us each and every day. Praise the name of the Lord. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. Praise the name of the Lord. When you look up into the skies and you see the stars, and they say one star is actually bigger than the earth. And then you see millions and thousands up there. Why would you not say you are a great God? They speak to us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it speaks to us through the prophetic word. Prophetic word. That's why we should what joke with prophetic words that comes for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We mustn't take it lightly because it is God speaking through the servant of God to us. The prophetic word of knowledge, of wisdom, of prophecy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 19 and 21. It says what? The, uh, uh, do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. But examine everything carefully. Hold fast to that which is good. I'm not saying go now and take every prophecy that comes. No, you have to still examine it. And make sure that it is coming from, what the, the, from the Lord. But prophetic words are ways where how God speaks to us. Praise the name of the Lord. So we must not take them lightly. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Another way is what? True godly counsel, true godly counsel from our mentors, from our colleagues, from you know people who are who surround us. 
Godly counsel. That's another way God speaks to us. You want to do this, and you just ask, just ask your mentor and say, what do I do about this? That word that may come, that would likely come from him, is a word from God for you. Because God has set him over you. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's a word. Godly counsel is very, very important. It's another way that what God creates, I mean, that we create an avenue to hear God. Godly counsel. Asking our mentors, asking those above you. Praise the name of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 14. He says, where no counsel is, the people fall or fail. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Where there's no counsel, you see that everything goes haywire. Praise the name of the Lord. But it says, in the multitude of counsel, it says, there's safety. In the multitude of what counsel, there is what safety. So you keep yourself safe by what? Hearing the voice. The voice of God keeps you safe. Through what? Godly counsel. It says, in the multitude of counsel, there's what? Safety. That's why we don't do things on our own. There, there may be a way that seemed right to a man, but the end thereof what is death. We must not take decisions alone. Seek the counsel of God and hear the voice of God concerning in every matter. And as I say, to godly counsel, we hear the voice of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Another way that God speaks to us is by confirmation confirmation that's another way we hear the voice of god by confirmation one person says this and then the second person says that and then the third person says, confirmed that word is being confirmed by the but you are hearing the voice of god yes. when this person has said it second person third person there's a confirmation there that god is speaking concerning this situation Amen. praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. you have something to do you have something in mind and somebody comes and says yes i know this one, this would be, the second person says this and, and it all matches up. You know, God is confirming it by speaking through these people. Confirmation. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Matthew chapter 18 verse 16. Matthew chapter 18 verse By the mouth of two or three, he says, every fact is what confirmed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew 18 verse 16. Let's have it there. Matthew 18 verse uh, 16. But if he will not his part be, that by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be what? Established. You hear it from here, hear it from here, hear it from there. You know that God is saying something concerning it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Other ways are by, you know, when we do our Bible study, you hear, you can hear the voice of God just because in that study, something that may be on your heart, maybe just touched on. You hear the voice of God concerning that. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Finally, it's by what? Dreams and visions. Dreams and visions. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You hear the voice of God. That's how Joseph heard the voice of God. In a dream, in a vision. God said to him, in a dream, in a dream. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So how do we create that avenue to hear God? One thing I've already said is that we create that word quiet time. Create that quiet time to hear God. Create a time. I say, Lord, just the way you speak to your parents, you speak to your friends, you create time to hear, to speak to God and hear back from Him. Create time. Praise the name of the Lord. Second thing is that what? Ask God for it. I want to hear you, Lord. Ask Him. He says, anything we need, we ask. And if we believe what we ask, He says, we shall have it. Ask him and say, Lord, I want to hear your voice concerning this matter. That's what David was. That's why David was a friend of God. Every time he wanted to hear, he inquired of the Lord. He inquired of the Lord. He never let any, he never took any decision on his own. He inquires of the Lord. Lord, what are you saying concerning this matter? 
And when you ask God, you will hear. Call upon me and I will answer. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two is that, develop, number three now, is that attitude of what being God conscious. Develop it. Being God conscious. Anything I want to do, what is God saying? It's not what people are saying. A lot of people go by what people are saying, what people are doing. No. What is God saying? God conscious. Be God conscious. What is God saying concerning this matter? What is God saying? Praise the name of the Lord. Get rid of what? Number four, I think it is. Get rid of every distraction. Don't be distracted. Because distractions is what tickles our ears. That It totally blocks our ears from what God wants to say. Praise the name of the Lord. Distractions. We avoid distractions. We avoid distractions in our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when we are distracted, we are, it's not possible to hear the voice of God. When we are distracted, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Always be in that word repentant mood. Repentant mood. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Always want, want, take it in, let me desire to be pure before God each and every time. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, the Lord. praise the name of the Lord. Then in God's word, you, you spend time in God's word. You will hear his voice. Because a word that you just open up and, and, and look at that day can change your whole day. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Spend time in the word. Spend time in the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We look at some things that can now hinder us from hearing the voice of God. There are some things that can hinder us from hearing the voice of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Number one, I can't but always mention sin. If you sin, if you are a sinner, if you live in sin, you can't hear the voice of God. It is not possible to hear the voice of God if you live in sin. Praise the name of the Lord. Living in sin. You can't hear his voice. Not possible. Praise God. Let's look at 1 John chapter 3. From verse 4. And we're going up to 10. 1 John chapter 3 from verse 4. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're talking about things that hinder us from him. Whoever commits sins also commits what? Lawlessness. And sin is lawlessness. Verse 5. I know that he was manifested to take away our sins. And in him there is no sin. Whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen him or known him. So if you don't know him, you can't hear his voice. If you are a sinner, you don't know him. And you can't hear his voice. <laughs> you see people that are here, the voice of God, and he's living in sin. It's impossible. You can't hear him because you don't know him. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. The little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous just as he is righteous. Verse 8. Quick, quick, quick. He who sins is of the devil. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might what destroy what the works of Satan. Praise the name of the Lord. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he has been born of God. Hallelujah. In these children of God, in this, the children of God and the children of the world are manifest. What whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is he who does not love his brother. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So he's just saying it clearly. If you are someone that practices, if you live in sin, you can't hear from God because you don't know him. And he doesn't know you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two is not taking the time. 
you know, you don't even take the time to say, I want to hear God. Then you won't hear him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, he talks for, about what? A time for everything. There's a time for everything. Praise the name of the Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, if you want to read it, he talks about a time for everything. And if you don't take the time to say, I want to hear you, Lord, then you won't hear him. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. People who go to concerts, who go to pubs, to, it's because they take the time to do it. You have taken the time to come here to hear the word of God, then you will hear his voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When you take time to say, I want to hear, then you will hear his voice. But if you don't put it in your timetable, then you, do you go for classes that you don't have? No. No. The classes that you have is what you go for. It's in your timetable because then you go for it. Praise the name of the Lord. But if you don't put hearing the voice of God in your timetable, then you don't hear him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. This one just baffles me. It says, then number three is that fear. Fear doesn't allow some people to hear the word of God. Why? What are they afraid of? They are afraid of what God will say. What God will say to them. They are afraid of what what God will say to them, because they know they are not living right. Praise the name of the Lord. So they they don't they don't even want to hear God's voice, because they know what they are afraid of what God has to say concerning them or concerning any matter that concerns them. Praise the name of the Lord. Fear. Because of what God might say. It will hinder. It will hinder. If you have fear of what God is going to say about you, then that means you need to check your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Number four is another thing that hinders us is when we are too busy. We are too busy with things of life, things that are pleasurable. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When we are too busy, when we are too busy, then we don't give room for what time to hear God. We just wake up and not give even God any time in our lives. Busy doing other things. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can write down Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2. When we are too busy doing things. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then another thing is that if we don't avoid noise. Noise. We put ourselves everywhere we go. It's very noisy. Everywhere we go we put, put ourselves in a, in a position where everything around us is noisy. And that's why people of this world are suffering because they surround themselves with noise. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Noise. Mm. Surround yourself with noise. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Finally on that is that when we don't have discipline. Mm. If we don't discipline ourselves to say, Lord, I want to hear you, it will not happen. We must have discipline. This discipline that I want to hear you, Lord. It must be part of your life. It must be something that you desire each and every time of your of your of your life. I want to hear what you're saying, Lord. I want to hear your voice. Speak to me. Let it be a discipline. That I must hear him every day. That I must hear him concerning every decision I want to take. Let it be a discipline in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. We look at a few scriptures on that. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. And as you are doing that, Proverbs 13, verse 18. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. It says, The fear of the Lord is what? The beginning of what? Of knowledge. But fools despise what? Wisdom and what and instructions. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. 
yesterday we were watching uh, a program and they were interviewing um, uh, Boris Johnson. Myself and the Victor were just sitting down, they were interviewing Boris Johnson. And the man says, um, I don't know how they got to this thing about, uh, he said, I don't know, but they came to something about God. And Boris Johnson said, yes, he was saying that the decision they are making it doesn't have to do with God, and Boris Johnson didn't answer him. Then he says, but you are making that decision based on what is, is something godly. And Boris Johnson, so he asked Boris Johnson, do you believe, he says, do you believe there's a God? He says, do you believe there's God? Do you know what Boris Johnson said? Boris says, only a fool we say there's no God. I say, wow! He has cleared the whole... He, in short, people would have gone home to think yesterday. He said, only a fool we say Ha! Ah, I said, this guy... Eh? A foolish man says... A, a foolish man says there's no God. He says, a foolish man says there's no God. Wow, that one, in short, it has given me a different, a, a different angle uh, uh, about him. Because that is the best answer that he gave that man. And I know that man will go and think about it. A foolish man. Uh, what is he calling him? He's calling a foolish man. That was the end of the story. He had to cut it because that's the end of the story. He had to cut the interview. He cut the interview like that. Because he never thought that Boris would ever say that. Only a foolish man who said there's no God. And then he has called him a fool straight away. How can you be asking me that there's no God? How can you be asking me on TV? And he gave him the right answer. I believe, I'm sure they will, they will, they will be replaying that thing. And it will come up very soon. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. You must have that discipline towards to always uh, 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 want to hear the voice of God. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. So how does, the, how does the voice of God benefit you? In five minutes, we're just going to look at that. How does the voice of God, how does it benefit you? If, we say, if I'm saying, I hear the voice of God, if I'm saying, I, let us begin to hear, to hear the voice, let us begin to seek to hear the voice. What, how will it benefit you? Number one is that you get spiritual direction, not physical direction. Spiritual direction, that's what you get. You get direction straight from the throne of grace, straight from his throne. You get to do God's will easily, easily. Because you are hearing his voice, you are following and obeying his voice. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two is that you are at rest. You are at rest at all. Because you know you have heard the voice of God. No matter what the situation may be that you are facing, you know that you have heard the voice of God. And the voice of God is telling you through this, you, you will come out through this. Then you will be at rest. You will be at rest. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Voice of God, it gives you insight. 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 God will tell you things that what will happen in the next maybe year, in the next month, in the next week. God will speak to you. When you hear, when you desire to hear his voice, he will give you insight into things, into which business is the business you should go into, into what you should do, into things that you should do. Insight. Gives you insight. Praise the name of the Lord. Four is that you gain wisdom. Because God himself is wisdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You will get wisdom for, I mean, in a different dimension. When you speak concerning the matter, people will say, oh yeah, it's true. Because you have heard the voice of God. And God will give you wisdom. He can, what he's going to say to you will, will give you wisdom. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And as that, you become what a blessing to other people. You become a, because they look at that. Solomon was full of wisdom. They had, look at those two women. Uh, out of all that the people that were in the land, when the problem happened, who did they go to? They went to Solomon. Because it was a difficult situation. But Solomon gave them, he was able to what? Discern everything by wisdom. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he heard from God. He didn't just do it on his own. He heard from God. Yes, Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then the voice of God finally, it gives us order in our lives. 
In our lives, it sets our lives what in order because we are doing things according to the will of God. We are doing things according to the will of God. Put our lives in order. Put the lives of our children in order. Put everything that we are doing, our businesses, our careers, everything in order. Because we hear the voice of God. We hear the voice of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Shall we rise this morning? Or this afternoon? Praise the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, I want to hear you more. Ah, speak to me, Lord. Let's ask the Lord to speak to us even the more. As we are asking him, tell the Lord, I will create more time for you. I will create more time to hear you, to hear your voice. Father, we want to thank you for your word today. We want to give you praise. Lord, we come before you today. We say, Lord, in any way, Lord, we have not, not been, oh Lord, in that position. Created room, not created room for you to speak to us. Father, we repent today. We repent today. Lord, of being too busy. Of being, oh Lord, Father, distracted in every area. We repent today. And Lord, we are asking. Lord, we say, Lord, we will create, Lord, room for you from today to speak to us. In my day, every day that I live, every hour that I live, Lord God Almighty, I will create room for you to speak to me in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we create room for you, we ask that you speak to us. Speak to us in a new way, in a new dimension, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us hear your voice, O Lord, clearly in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, order our steps, order our paths by your voice. Order everything concerning our lives by your voice in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you and we give you all the glory. We say, Lord, be thou exalted, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.